Hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm Crystal and this is Maddie Makes vlog number five. It is September 28th. Yes, so these are coming out like twice a month. Let's just be realistic. That's how life is. Um, but it's been fun and I've actually got a lot done in those, you know, quiet evenings of the night when the hubby just wants to curl up on the couch and watch TV. I am working on a elf coat and I will put the description down below. It's a free pattern and you can also get it off of Ravelry. Um, so I've gotten five of the six wedge panels done. And this is Tuscan Knit Crochet. So it looks like knit stitches and it looks like pearls pretty much on the back. And it's pretty thin thick so it'll be a great jacket and they're starting to curl up but the colors on these wedges I think the wedges wind up going narrow at the waistband and then wider at the bottom and then there'll be some V ones as well did I manage to get the wedge anyway Tuscan crochet she have a crochet hook this is a six millimeter had this forever. I think it was one of my mother's. So I say forever. <laughs> 30 years. Um, so yeah, I'm starting the sixth panel and that's the final one. I'm doing the size medium. And wow, my hair gets into everything. Hershner's pastry puff. Such pretty colors. This is rhubarb. Uh, and you need, for size medium, it's over 4,000 yards. So it's a lot, but it'll be a lot of jacket. So it has bow, um, wider sleeves, flares out at the bottom, and has a long drawn out hood. So it's, it'll be such a cute elf jacket. Um, hopefully I can get it done for Halloween. I'm really hoping, though I'm probably gonna wear it like all the time. Just because it'll be warm and cuddly and be one of those jacket sweaters that you can just wear whenever it's cold, as long as it's not really wet. So, so thrilled to have most of the bottom done already. If I can hold them up and you can see the wide. All the fun colors. And you do a crochet around the bottom hold it all together. I think I like that one most of all. It's like the greens and the browns. So it's not so peach in your face. Does it wash me out? No, it's fine. Okay. So I'm working on that. I also started knitting socks. This is actually a color I picked up for myself. So yeah, a little, little greedy knitting right now. Then I'll have to get into some Christmas knits and whatnot. It is September, so it'll be Christmas fast knits or fast crochets. But a pair of socks done, so almost half. Seven inches will be pretty much to the base of my heel before I start the turnout for the heel. And I don't remember the name of this yarn, but it's a. hand dyed sock yarn. So merino nylon blend. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. I don't believe it's super wash. If I don't have my arms labeled, I always assume they're not super wash and I will be hand washing them because it could be homespun. Um, I did get some spinning done so this is about three ounces. Where's my cheater sheet? Okay, I have to write down what I blended, right? So this is mainly Shetland and I did receive this as a raw fleece. It was one of the first ones I've ever washed up. Um, it is embedded with silk threads. I'm not sure if you can really see the silk threads on that. But 
that was the first one. The second one is still on the wheel. This is about an ounce of fiber left to go in there so you can see the, and you can see the silk threads. Silk threads, then there's some dyed pink wool in there as well, as well as some white alpaca. So and it's not much alpaca. So in the pretty much three, there's pretty much six ounces total. There was only around 0.3 ounces of alpaca, so not much. But it does give it a little smoothness, a little silkiness going through there. And the silk threads just pretty much give color. So you have um, purple, fuchsia, and a navy blue in the threads. So it gives it a lot of different contrast, which I am loving. So that's getting spun up. The reef tank top is finished knitting. I still have to tie the, the sides in and I'd wear it, but it's like 50 degrees outside right now. So I don't know if it, it's not really tank top weather anymore, but I will get this soaked and blocked out because the, the seams do want to roll in a bit. And I'm hoping it'll flatten out nice. It is cotton. But I do love the gradient on that. It turned out so cute. And I'll, I'll, I'll repost what the, the yarn I did this with. Um, the 100% cotton is in my last vlog too. So if you're curious, that's where that is. And just a quick video because not much memory left on the phone so it's only allowing me to do quick videos nowadays so new phone on the way so really thrilled about that and I think that's it this jacket's just gonna take forever so between the jacket and the socks yeah hopefully I'll get those done the jacket in the next month this the socks in a few weeks and finish spinning this up because this is all that's left uh, can I show you what is on the without there? There, that's what's left on the on the bullfrog. So back up. There we are. So until next time. See ya!